Well, hello, this is Bill with Guillory Fine Art. In this video, I'd like to call it um, Paintery Effects with On One Photo Raw. But in all honesty, uh, the same effects can be accomplished with Photoshop. All we're going to be doing is dealing with layers, textures, and blending options. So, let's get to it. I'm in the um, I'm in my thumbnail view in browse I've navigated to um, my folder and this is the image I'm going to start with I'm going into the editing mode on one now first thing I notice is the hor horizontal line horizon is not perfectly straight so I'm going to hit C on my keyboard. It brings up the cropping tool. A cropping tool, you can have it freeform, original, or different ratios you can select. Um, in this case, I'm just going to keep original ratio. And I'm going to use the leveling tool up here leveling tool will let you pick two points that will be either per perfectly straight up and down horizontal or horiz horizontal horizontal or vertical <laughs> sorry about that so there's level tool I'm going to click here and you can see I have the line I'm going to click here and it automatically adjusts that I'm going to hit apply and I also notice this little uh, piece of trash floating in the water so I'm going to go to the retouch button and I'm going to select the uh, magic eraser and simply just touch over it and boom it's gone so now that I have that set up on the far right, you can see the layers section, and there is one layer associated with this. If I turn it off, turn it back on. But I want two separate layers. So I could click on the add layer and navigate to a separate layer if I wanted to put a layer with birds flying or whatever. But I'm going to cancel this because I want duplicates. So I'm going to select here the duplicate layer. Yes, I want to add a layer. And now we have two separate layers. So to start off with, on the top layer, I'm going to add an effect. From the Develop tab, I'm going to slip, switch over to Effects. I'm going to add a filter. And I'm going to add a surface blur, which is in the blur section. And I'm going to select the surface. And you can adjust the surface blur with the amount and threshold. I'm going to keep it about like that. Now I want to add another blur. And on this one I'm going to add a glow blur. Now in the glow, let's see, in the glow, I'm going to go to the dark glow. And then I'm going to add, I'm going to move my glow flow, glow below the blur. And then I'm going to add another filter. And this filter is going to be textures. Now the default on the textures is walls and cool concrete. I'm going to select on the walls, switch over to paper. Now in On One, you, it's real easy to import textures, backgrounds, and layers. 
and I'll show you that in another video but right now I want to paper and instead of canvas we're going to select if we want a watercolor paper we do rice rice paper dark okay now I come to my bottom I can turn my top layer off so I can see what's happening on the bottom layer and on the bottom layer I'm gonna add another blur blur filter and this time I'm gonna come to the little uh, gear icon and for the blending options from normal I'm going to change normal to difference and look what happened it just turned it all completely dark which is fine I'm going to add another filter I know it's several steps but I'll show you uh, quickly how to um, how to make presets for this so um, let's see I'm going to add another filter and this time I'm going to add curves now basically I'm going to take this point and drop it all the way down take this point and bring it all the way up and you can manually do it or you can easily click on here and say invert boom and now to bring um, more detail in it I'm going to click on the midpoint and drop it down about right there basically what I'm doing is I am setting up a tip what's typical like a, an ink drawing and basically I'll add another layer convert this to black and white and now we have the bottom layer Okay, now I want to go to the top, my top layer, turn this on. Go to my top layer. And I want to click on the, this icon and change the blending mode to multiply. Uh, I like to scroll through the different blending modes and different ones give you different effects but for now we'll just use multiply and if you want you can lower the opacity and go all the way down or just bring in a touch of it to make it look a little more realistic now one thing I like to do this is more like a watercolor look but if you wanted a pastel or a palette uh, oil look you can let's see go to textures rice paper dark we we'll change that the rice paper dark and we can change it to palette knife Up. Well, let's see now. Pass it on the palette knife. There. Turn the blur off. Now we can always go to blur, change the threshold to add or subtract the background. And I like it right there like this. And as you can see you have a palette knife effect. Or if you don't like the palette knife effect, go back to textures and change this 
to canvas. Boom. There's your canvas. I hope this was uh, educational. I hope you got some information off of it. And please feel free to uh, let me know if I'm helping or hurting. <laughs> Thank you. Bye.